meme coin, crypto news, and a bit on mining profitability. That's what we're digging into today on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. No fluff, just stuff. Let's go. This is what the market cap looks like, $2.5 trillion. I remember when we went over 1 trillion, that was crazy. Now Bitcoin alone is worth over 1 trillion. So don't lose the faith. Well, I don't wanna make it sound too much like a cult. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. Uh, so the market has been sideways and down a bit. Uh, it's not where most people want it to be. Granted today, it's a little green. And over the last week, it's because of the last few days has turned a little green, which is nice uh, and, and relaxing and, and motivating. Everybody's favorite Dogecoin is sitting at a $22 billion market cap, up 95% over the last year, good, uh, but we definitely want more from it. When we zoom out on the chart, remember that Dogecoin traded significantly higher in the last crypto bull run and it's still down 79% from that all time high. There's also the Floki dog coin meme coin. We've talked about it a lot. We were very early to talk about Floki in the previous cycle. Uh, Floki is a supporter of the Voscoin YouTube channel, which I thoroughly appreciate. Unlike a cryptocurrency similar in nature, but I think the opportunity on that has really kind of come and gone, and that would be Shiba Inu ship. Floki is up 440% over the last year, and uh, they've been pushing a lot of heavy meme coin narratives, and they've been building out an ecosystem. So we'll talk more about that in a second, but. Uh, we look at the daily emission post Bitcoin halving. We're sitting at about $30 million uh, in emission on Bitcoin in the last, uh, last 24 hours. We look at Dogecoin, the second most profitable coin to mine by pretty far now. Casper keeps falling down with their emissions uh, very rapidly degrading and that price being kind of stagnant and uh, even trending downward some from its all time high. Don't forget that Dogecoin is also merge mined with Litecoin so it's actually $2.3 million. And if you're familiar with that Bell's cryptocurrency that ripped off uh, the money and logo from Animal Crossing, they are apparently working to be merge mined with Dogecoin and Litecoin as well. So we'll see. Bell's did contribute to some higher Dogecoin mining profitability, uh, especially for nice hash users, which I was fortunate to benefit from uh, those increased earnings. Uh, previously. I've expanded my Dogecoin mining power with not one but two more DG1 miners. They were the best Dogecoin miner in the world uh, and then they weren't when Bitman announced they've got a better L9 coming soon and then they also dropped the DG1 Plus which is like a overclocked version of it or or whatever. So that's kind of the gist of Doge because there's really not all that much to talk about uh, with Dogecoin. We look at at SHIB, right? Because I, I wrote it off a bit earlier, but what are they doing? Well, they're in New York. Some recent news about the SHIB army though, is that they've raised $12 million, but they're not the only ones raising or securing big investments. For example, Floki has secured a $10 million investment, really, or it's really more of a buy-in from DFW which I think Dallas Fort Worth when I read that uh, labs here. But this is just a straight Web3 investment to buy 10 million worth of Floki tokens to double down on their commitment to the ecosystem. Because that's 10 million after they purchased 5 million in May of 2023. I've also heard other rumors that this is actually 12 and not 10 million. But some of these headlines focus on 10, so we will err on the lower side of that. And that's not all the Floki Vikings are up to right now. They were listed on Revolut. And we actually uh, just received a business payment through Revolut. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, cool timing. This is becoming a more and more popular service. This is interesting, right? Because what does this mean? So they're listed on their app that has 40 million users in 150 countries, giving these users the ability to not only just buy the Floki cryptocurrency, but they can utilize 25 or more fiat currencies, including the pound, the euro, and the dirty US dollar. 
Have you ever used this service? I'd love to hear from you down in the comments section below. I have not personally. I've thought about signing up and just kind of checking it out. A couple of things stand out is they are one, and, and there's a you know fair amount of banks uh, doing this currently. Uh, that one can give you high cash back, and that's cool. Uh, I haven't you know fully got myself up to speed on those terms, but they offer four and a quarter percent interest rate on your parked cash, and that is very cool. And I think in particular. Uh, and I don't know the full details of this, but if that's for other fiat currencies beyond just the U.S. dollar, uh, that a lot of these international cryptocurrencies, if you don't know, uh, don't have a lot of opportunity to earn high interest rates. Whereas the U.S. dollar has been able to easily earn three to five percent interest just sitting in a lot of different savings account uh, for most U.S. citizens if you're paying any attention at all. Recently, uh, I talked about Robinhood's new credit card, which I'm personally really f***ing excited for because it's three percent cash back across the board. That's unheard of for a credit card with no fee. I believe you do have to subscribe to Robinhood Gold, which is five bucks a month, but I already do that. And I also have some of my cash parked in uh, their savings accounts, which are FDIC assured, and I earn five and a quarter percent interest on my cash sitting there doing nothing. Uh, which obviously you're like, well, why are you buying Bitcoin and everything else? Well, I need some dirty dollars uh, on hand to pay for the business, the bills, the utilities, the whatever. Uh, so as much as I'd love to be 100% in crypto, it's not feasible yet. Soon, hopefully. Remember when I said that Floki is also an ecosystem? We talked about Token5 previously, but if you don't know, it's they, they call it their sister project, and they're building a lot of different services. One of those being a launch pad. And they now support Ethereum Base, which is Coinbase's Layer 2 solution, uh, BNB, OP BNB, which is it's kind of what it sounds like. It's like optimism, but I'm on the Binance chain. I know, I know. You wanted another chain. Well, here you go. Congratulations. As well as Blast, which has been blasting off recently. Ha ha ha. He's such a funny guy. Oh, and they've already gone live on Arbitrum. And they sold out that token sale within 10 minutes. Wow. They want projects to come to their platform, their launch pad launch their token sales, initial decentralized exchange offerings and things like that. Floki is, they boast about Floki being a strong brand. They are a piece of that brand and that they are secure as they say, because of, uh, which is proven by a third party like Certic. I've been waiting for this for an eternity and some people may be disappointed because this kind of looks like a modern day RuneScape. But since I come from the RuneScape era, I actually think these clay looking graphics are kind of funny and kind of awesome. Uh, if the game's fun, that's good enough for me. Uh, but they are still developing their Valhalla game. And uh, to be frank, I'm here for it. I, I This would be funny. A play to earn, integrated NFTs, you know, all those kinds of Web3 gaming. I'd love to see it. I'd love to play it. I'd love to enjoy it. Uh, over the last month or so, we talked about their roadmap. So I won't recap it too much, but here's a quick glance at their roadmap that they posted in March and uh, the things that they are working towards uh, in that regard. In particular, .floki domains would be very cool because they have a very passionate community and that would give people a way to just entrench themselves uh, even deeper there. Those domain services are also often used uh, for airdrop. So that's something I'm, I'm normally quick to uh, pick up. Uh, this is a guest article on CoinMarketCap, but some people take this as basically like CoinMarketCap articles. Uh, so these things can be good momentum and good marketing for a project. Uh, but it references when Floki was trending on CoinMarketCap above numerous other meme coins like Pepe, SHIB, BTC, and R. Another article has a, you know, it's a hype article talking about the five best meme coins to buy after the Bitcoin halving. I mean, that, that's a headline that can grab a lot of people, grab a lot of noobs. And at the top of that article, Floki is listed right there. So meme coin at its core is, of course, marketing. Uh, but it's cool to see they've been here for years. And I, I like just to see projects that continue pushing forward in whatever uh, manner they want to do. A lot of projects pop up, and then maybe they take off, maybe they don't, and then they quickly fizzle out. So uh, the longer a project exists, that's that Lindy effect thing, the longer it is uh, likely to just continue existing. 
Uh, some cool stuff came across my desk this morning from Vincent, uh, one of the just badass editors and team members out here at Bosque when you may have saw his KS0 Pro review video. Uh, but he was like, hey, did you see the Ducat? And I keep my brains like Ducat T, the Ducati uh, unit was the first Bitcoin layer one native decentralized stable coin. We will see. I, this is not an endorsement. I don't know anything about this. I just wanted to bring this to your face. Uh, to your face. Here, this is to your face now. Uh, as soon as possible. Because I find it interesting, right? Uh, we haven't really talked too much about Bitcoin runes recently. But they're going to tokenize Ducat. And governance will be enabled via zero knowledge proof circuits. Memorialized on Bitcoin ordinal inscriptions. Uh, if you didn't want activity on the Bitcoin chain too bad. Because it is coming and it is coming in force. I have also not verified any of this. But he also threw a veil in their airdrop. Uh, which does not have the longest time frame to uh, claim if you'd like to do so. Uh, you may get rugged if you use this. I, I don't know. I don't know. Join the Voscoin Discord server. Connect with everybody. Uh, I I'm hustling to get this content recorded, edited, and out. Uh, but yes, new airdrop. You may be eligible. There's a lot of eligibility here at play. Uh, recently, uh, Bisby Trippin reviewed the Oradine AT1500. This is a Bitcoin miner. He likes it, uh, specifically based on the performance. No good control, no dev fee. Uh, I really like this fixed setting of 2,500 watts. That sounds so appealing compared to some of these just absolute uh, power munching uh miners we're dealing with in this era where like the s21s are pulling 3500 watts it's a lot of juice and it's heavy on circuits and a certain equipment uh, it's pushing the limit of kind of where you should be uh so these uh, these also i was talking to dennis at bma about it very briefly and he was bringing up how they also have immersion ready units uh so this is definitely on my to-do list to kind of look into and dig deeper into unfortunately for bitcoin and the bitcoin etfs uh inflows have slowed taking the wind out of the Bitcoin bull run, quoting this article. And for the first day since the fund's inception, it did not draw any money, right? The, the in, there was no inflow. There was a net outflow. And another bad news, the Samurai wallet, uh, they were charged. They've been shut down. They are being attacked. So I don't know what they did or didn't do, uh, but it's supposed to be open source decentralized privacy tech for bitcoin so not good not good if you want to see some more crypto nerds slap each other and bitboy wasn't enough for you and you just like watching trash tv well congratulations there's some more nerds fighting soon i'm a nerd too but i assure you that i would beat all their asses spoken like a true male who thinks he can fight and beat everyone <laughs> so uh, I'm going to beat you up too if you don't subscribe to the Voss Coin YouTube channel. It's 2024, so I have to say I'm sorry and I'm just kidding, right? Because who knows? I could get canceled and banned by YouTube because I just made. Because I just threatened violence. But just to be very clear, that was satire, humor, or joke, or whatever. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Hope you stick around, subscribe. And uh, we got a lot of crazy content in the pipeline. Uh, I hope to see you soon. And don't think I forgot about 10 seconds of tails. Which, by the way, if you want to get into the Dogecoin mining game, head over to ASIC Marketplace. And uh, we got a coupon code down in the video description below to save some coin. I'm buying meme coins. I'm mining meme coins. I'm hodling meme coins. I don't disrespect the meme anymore.